What's going on? It's yours truly. Say it with me, Mr. Telefero. I want to send some congratulations out to a few lucky guys who, as I don't know if you knew this or not, but the 2019 NBA Awards show did happen. Look, man, free agency, free agency is in a week. We don't care about no dang award show. I honestly wish they would go back to giving out these awards in the midst of the playoffs at the beginning of the first round. And heck, if the player don't get the award at the beginning of the first round of the playoffs, get to him next season. I don't like this, but it is what it is. Congratulations to Luka Doncic of the Dallas Mavericks. He did edge out Trey Young for rookie of the year. I'm not mad at it. If it went either way, uh, it, look, both of these guys are young, great players, great talent for our league. The league's in good hands with either of these guys. I think Luka got off to a better start, and that was the difference between these two guys because to me Trey Young had the better February March April but I think Lucas start he was consistent throughout I think that gave him the edge a congratulations to the most improved player of the year also he's now an NBA champion Pascal Siakam of the two Toronto Raptors we kind of knew for quite some time that Pascal Siakam would win this award it was just a matter of uh would he win it as an NBA champion or not and he did win a championship congrats to him He's just taking home the trophies at this point in his young career. I want to congratulate Lou, Lou Williams, third time winning the six man of the year award. Uh, Lou Williams is going to win this award pretty much every year he's playing in the league. I'm going to be honest with you. He just knows how to light it up off the bench. He's a starter that just wants to come off the bench. At some point, salute to Lou Williams. At some point, people are going to ask, Yo, if you win an award three times, the, the coming off the bench that you're saying you're the best in the league at coming off the bench three times, at some point, we're going to say, yo, why don't you start? Congratulations to Lou Williams on winning sixth man of the year for the third time in his career. Next up, I want to congratulate Rudy Gobert of the Utah Jazz. I went back and did some highlights. And look, nobody gets dunked on or embarrassed more in, in the NBA than Rudy Gobert. But the reason why is because he's always taking risks on defense. A lot of risks that guys are just simply not taking in 2019. So I want to give Rudy Gobert some credit for that. He makes a lot of plays, a lot of blocks. He controls the middle for the Utah Jazz. They literally don't have a lot of great defenders on the perimeter. So they're literally shifting their guys or sending their guys into Rudy Gobert. And a lot of times he makes plays and helps his team. With all that being said, we saved the best award for last. I want to congratulate Milwaukee Bucks forward, the Greek freak. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he edged out James Harden and Paul George for the 2019 NBA MVP. This is Giannis' first time winning the award. Obviously, if Harden would have won it, he would have went back to back. Paul George, if he would have won, it would have been his first time winning. I thought it would have been super impressive Paul George won the award. Paul George really ran, he kind of fell out of the running for this award in February when he went down with the injuries right after All-Star break. He couldn't get his body right, his shoulders and all that. I really believe Paul George would have had a, a nice chance at winning this award. Um, my pick for this award was Harden, but I've known for quite some time that Giannis won the award. Um, to me, Harden had more memorable moments in the regular season. But to be fair, Giannis was so great for the Milwaukee Bucks, he didn't allow himself and his team to be in positions where they needed him down the stretch. He just, I mean, the Bucks team, they blowed a lot of guys out. They blowed a lot of teams out. And Giannis was the best offensive player and defensive player for that. Giannis was also in the running for defensive player of the year. That means something to me. He's doing it on both ends of the court with the chase down blocks. I mean, a lot of times he's playing the big man in, in, in half court. Like, he literally guarding other team's fives. Impressive. Giving me 12 rebounds a game. Putting up 26 points. And he don't even got a jumper yet, ladies and gentlemen. The Greek freak is phenomenal and he's now an mvp i know the season didn't end the way the greek freak would have liked it i might have been too early i was one of those people around february saying Giannis was the best player in the game might have been a little early on that but what is set in stone and what you can never take away from the greek freak is he is a 2019 nba mvp congratulations to him and all of the award recipients tonight i'm out I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They cool.
You are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.